Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Mrs. Swifty and today we're back in Planet Zoo. So I wanted to build something a bit different. I think I say that every time. Um, but I wanted to try something a bit more fun. So we're going to be building a, um, how do I say this? An unethical restaurant. <laughs> You'll see what I mean in a minute. Anyway, sorry. Welcome. If you're new to this channel, hi, I'm Mrs. Swifty and uh, on this channel we make Planet Zoo videos and we also make Sims 4 videos. So if you're interested in any of that sort of stuff, then please do hit that subscribe button, come join the fam, um, or just give this video a like or comment down below if there's something you want to see me build or do in the Sims or in the Planet Zoo. Um, very excited for the new Sims 4 uh, game pack that's coming out tomorrow, I think it is. I'm going to be getting that and going to be playing with that and showing you guys all the fun stuff in that pack. So I'm very excited about that. But today we're in Planet Zoo. So we're actually building a restaurant, which obviously we're using the vendors. So um, it's like got the, the hot dog place, the burger place, the milkshake place, and uh, just like a water place as well. We've got a little toilet and stuff in there. And then the idea is that we also have three habitats with this restaurant. We have a zebra habitat, we have the warthog habitat, and we have ostrich habitat. Um, and you know, Edgar's Eatery is known for its very fresh produce and locally sourced produce. I think you can see where I'm going with this. Um, I just thought it would be kind of funny. Um, so that's what we're doing. We're building um, and a restaurant which um, I think probably not no no I don't maybe it doesn't advertise maybe it does advertise I don't know that, that they're using exotic ingredients um, <laughs> some nice zebra burgers or uh, warthog hot dogs <laughs> something like that <laughs> anyway it's just a bit of fun really so uh, we're building the whole restaurant and yeah, I actually really enjoyed it. I haven't, I spent quite a long time trying to make it really detailed. I tend to prefer building habitats to like buildings in Planet Zoo um, because I feel like I'm not very good at building buildings. But I am actually really proud of how this turned out. And I like spent a long time trying to put lots of detail in, um, which I think helped a lot. So I really like the kitchen area. I made like a kitchen area you'll see later on um, with like a big freezer and stuff. <laughs> Um, yeah, stick around so you don't miss that. Um, but yeah, we're putting in the big windows. The idea is that whilst you're sitting eating your burger, you can be watching the zebra and the warthogs. Um, the ostriches you have to go outside to see. Um, but there's nice big windows on both sides of the eatery. Edgar's eatery is what we went with. Um, and there's like benches. I mean, obviously, you can't, Sims won't actually like sit up at them, but they're like bar. I made like little bar, bar stools, which I think I'm about to do in a second. Um, and like a little, you know, what would you call it? I mean, like a table, but like high, bar height table type thing um, against the windows. So you could sort of sit and eat your burger or whatever and <laughs> just like watch the zebra or the warthogs or whatever as they, you know, play. Um, you know, maybe it's a bit like a lobster restaurant or whatever and you can pick it up. <laughs> That's so ridiculous. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, I mean, for the record, I am actually vegan. I don't eat meat, so um, this for me is just a joke. It's it's not uh, it's not intended to be a political statement at all. Um, but I just wanted to build something fun, and this is what I came up with. So, you guys, if you want to see something different, then you better comment down below. And give me some other ideas, otherwise, I'm gonna keep building random stuff like this. So. Oh man, yeah, if you're new to this channel, hi, welcome. It's a lot of fun here. So <laughs> we uh, we do we do build some fun things. I, I might actually put some links in the video for some of my other like builds I've done that are quite kind of quirky or fun. Like we in The Sims 4, I've done quite a few. We did a UFO spa, which was like a spa build, but it was uh, a spaceship. Um, that was a lot of fun to do. We did, uh, we did a clown house for uh, Sonny the Tragic Clown, I think it was. We built him a house, um, which was a haunted house, but also a clown house. So that was that was quite a lot of fun. 
Um, I'm trying to think what I've done in Planet Zoo that's been like really heavily themed or like fun like this. Um, I mean, you guys really liked the Caged Monkeys build, but that wasn't really like <laughs> silly like this one is. So if you guys like this, if you like the silly builds, then do um, comment down below or make sure you like this video or just, you know, share it with your friends. I mean, I'm basically trying to just see what videos like a lot of people are watching. So I, I'm still a small channel. We still, I think we've got 30 subscribers. Shout out to you guys. Thanks for watching. Um, but yeah, I, my most viewed video was that Caged Monkeys build video. You guys seem to really like that. Uh, and that's for like over 100 views. Um, and that is the most <laughs> I've ever had. So um, maybe I'll do something like that again. I don't know. I thought um, this is sort of unethical as well. <laughs> so maybe you guys like this. Um, but yeah, if you like these kinds of silly builds, please let me know in the comments and I can do more like this. Um, I definitely, I, I'm really, really gutted because I actually built a habitat in The Sims 4 um, for some Japanese macaques that was actually for Paulsley's um, competition. I don't know if any of you guys knew about that, but Paulsley is another YouTuber much bigger than me uh, who do, does Planet Zoo videos. And he had like a competition going where he had to build this habitat to go in his um, zooable zoo. And I knew that I wasn't gonna win just from making like a good habitat because I'm just not as talented as like some people are. Some people are crazy talented at building in Planet Zoo. So I thought I'd do something funny instead and the premise was that um you know it was this space that was originally going to be like an assault course but then um the authority said no you can't do that um you know it's too dangerous or whatever so i thought well that sounds hilarious so why don't we just say that they had all per already purchased all these this assault course equipment and they just decided to make a macaque habitat that was actually just like an assault course so i actually built a total wipeout themed habitat for the Japanese macaques and that was so much fun to build it took me a really long time I left hours and hours and hours I mean this build actually took me a couple of hours but actually probably like more like three hours but um that one took me ages and I'm so glad that I didn't record it I thought I don't know why I didn't I just didn't press record I just didn't record it. I just built it on my own and um I loved it. it was so much fun and they when they did like the live stream and went through all the builds they uh, they said it was absolutely hilarious and they absolutely loved it so uh, it, I think yeah it was very silly and I really enjoyed doing it so oh we're onto the kitchen I didn't even notice we're on the kitchen we're building the fridge we're gonna do an oven here we're gonna do a six six spring hob because you know it's an industrial kitchen um and yeah later on I'm gonna come back and put a bunch more like pots and pans and stuff in here because I didn't really have enough decor in here we put some bins in we're making the hob here or I don't know what do you call it like a stove top I think you would call it in America or I don't know in, um, in Australia or like Canada or places like that do you call it a hob or do you call it a stove top or what do you call it let me know <laughs> but we call like the top part the hob and then the bottom part the oven um anyway that's what we're building so <laughs> Um, I, I'm just realizing I didn't really put any doors underneath to like make it look like an oven underneath. I probably should have done that, never mind. Maybe they don't cook anything in the oven, they only cook things on on the, the hob or whatever. <laughs> whatever you call it. Um, maybe, I don't know. So yeah, we've got the oven, we've got little, yeah. And now we're gonna put in our big industrial freezer, which is in my, this is where the, uh, the zebra or the warthogs or the ostrich get taken after, you know, they've, um, uh, you know, been butchered. That's the word that people use, isn't it? Butchering. So, <laughs> I mean, I laugh. Like, this is a thing. Like, you can buy zebra burgers and ostrich legs or whatever. Ostrich e eggs you can buy for sure. Um, and I definitely have had like wild boar sausages like before I was vegan um, in the past. So, I mean, it's not, it's not completely out of the realm of possibility. You probably wouldn't know, have a zoo where you can like see the animals and then <laughs> in the same place have a restaurant where you serve those animals. That would maybe be taking it a bit too far, uh, but that's what we're doing here. So that's, that's what we're doing. We're putting in the um, like tables and chairs and stuff. It, obviously, I want it to be functional. It is functional. So I will 
Um, let me know in the comments down below, guys, if you want me to put it up on, um, what do you call it, the workshop, on Steam Workshop. I can do that if you guys wanted to play with it. I don't know why you would. <laughs> Maybe you're making a really unethical zoo and you wanted to <laughs> put this in. Um, I could do that if you want me to, but um, I haven't at the moment. So let me know in the comments if you do want me to put it up on the workshop. So uh, you could download it. Uh, but it is functional, it's a completely functional eatery. There's places to sit, there's a toilet, there's bins, there's, you know obviously animals to look at um but i did put this in, i did build it in sandbox so i haven't worried about putting in donation boxes and things like that because i feel like that would look weird and weird when this is like supposed to be a restaurant with just like some animals that you can watch whilst you eat so it'd be a bit weird to have like donation boxes and stuff so yeah i cut out a bit of like stuff with doing like the roof and the um uh, staff buildings and stuff because I actually came back and changed it later. So anything that I like changed later I just didn't like cut out because I just didn't think that you would want to see it. I I don't know if you can I having my headphones on I'm not sure if you guys can probably hear my husband just getting my little girl up because I think she's just picking up her nap. Um yeah that sounds like her. <laughs> so if you can hear that then you know I was gonna say sorry but actually you know you're blessed from hearing <laughs> Hearing, hearing my little girl and uh, my husband, so they're just uh, getting up now. We're, we're, it's a lovely day, it's bank holiday that I'm recording this. I'm hoping I might get up today, maybe tomorrow. Might might have to be tomorrow, we'll see. Um, it's been beautiful weather here in the UK. I talk about the weather every time. It's beautiful. Um, it's really sunny. I had to shut the window because for recording and it's getting quite hot in here. Um, but it is actually a really, really lovely day. And um, we went for a walk earlier, went to the park, for you uh, my daughter played on the swings and stuff which was really lovely and um, yeah we're gonna go for a walk down to the shops because we actually have a barbecue later we're having some friends over now that we're allowed you know now the rules have relaxed and we're allowed to have people over we're gonna have a barbecue which will be really really nice so we need to go and get some food for that I'm hoping there'll be some some food left because I think everybody's probably having barbecues today um, you know back holiday weekend so there you go. I'm sure we'll be able to find something. Like I said, we don't eat meat, so it will be uh, vegan, I guess, and things that we'll be looking for. And um, yeah, we're going to do like a salad, potatoes, and things like that. Anyway, we're getting the <laughs> get so distracted. We're getting the animals in. I wanted the animals to actually not have very big habitats. I kind of wanted it to be quite unethical, but I also didn't want to get protesters. So, like, every habitat is in the orange for like um, space. So, their welfare's not great, but it's orange. <laughs> It's okay. Their welfare is okay. Um, so yeah, and this is the bit I actually did today. So I recorded some of this the other day, and then I came back in today. I was just gonna, I was just gonna make the video, but then I was like, mm, I feel like I can improve this. I decided to move all of the staff buildings onto the second floor of the restaurant, and I love that. It makes, makes a lot more sense. It looks a lot better. Technically, the guests don't like it very much, and like you know, they get the negative effects, or whatever. But. I just, I don't understand that. It's upstairs. They can't see it. Like, <laughs> it's annoying, but there you go. That's the way it is. And I don't really care because <laughs> it's supposed to be kind of unethical and <laughs> whatever. Anyway, we, we moved all of the stuff buildings upstairs and I really like the way they turned out in the end. I think the building looks a lot nicer that way. And it means I just didn't have that eyesore because I had just built like a random little building to put all the stuff buildings in. And it just wasn't very pretty, so. Oh, hello. You don't want her to be in the video, do you? Don't put her in the video. <laughs> you can see her little feet. Maybe. I don't know. I might cut it out. <laughs> ah. ah, is that right? Mummy doing a video. Yeah. I'm watch you watching the planet zoo. <laughs> Anyway, um, we're nearly done now actually, there's only a minute left, so um, yeah, I'm going to take you in and do a tour. Like I said before guys, if you do like this, please do like the video, leave a comment if you like these kind of weird crazy builds, or if you want me to do even more crazy builds, I can totally do that. Um, and yeah, subscribe, please, 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 <laughs> if, you, if you like these kind of videos. I do put out videos twice a week, um, uh, it will be at least one fantasy video and at least one Sims video um, every week. And I don't have set days I um, upload just because like being a stay-at-home mum with my daughter it's really variable like what's happening during the day like whether she sleeps well a lot of the time I try and record during her naps um, and that's not very easy to do sometimes she doesn't nap for as long or sometimes I have other things I need to get done so I can't always record the same days every week um, 
if I started to get a lot of views or a lot of subscribers then obviously I would prioritise that and I would make time um, to make sure I was uploading regs like on specific days but at the moment I just can't really do that so uh, but there are always two videos every week um, often on the weekend um, just because that's how it works with my husband being home so it means I can get a bit more editing and stuff done so yeah I think we're gonna head into the tour now so I'll see you there in a sec All right, so here we are in Ed, uh, Edgar's Eats, <laughs> Edgar's Eatery. Um, we're gonna head inside. This is what it looks like from the outside. Um, obviously, I think it's really pretty. It's quite a modern building. Um, yeah, I really like it. It's gonna keep saying that the facility is having significant effects on the guests. I'm sorry about that. Um, hopefully it doesn't ruin the video too much. <laughs> That's cause, just because I put the stuff upstairs. So, in we go. And here we are. So, oh, yeah, the path is cutting through the ceiling. Never mind. Just ignore that. Just ignore that. And this is Edgar's Eats. So, you can see we've got um, these little stations around the room with bins and like sauces and stuff to put on your burgers or your hot dogs or whatever. Um, over here, we've got our spa stools and you can see our zebras playing outside there they are they're playing they're having a nice time for now i'm obviously hoping that they breed for the purposes of this <laughs> this restaurant um and you can see here we have our vendors it says fresh local produce um and i think the other one says like exotic ingredients or something like that so yeah, let's go over here and we'll just go check out the uh, warthogs. You can see the warthogs over here as well. There they are. Oh yes, there they are. They're just playing in the grass. Um, their habitats are very sparse. <laughs> They're not designed for their welfare, let's be honest. They're designed so that they are happy enough to breed and that's about it. So let's head out uh, this way and then we'll come back around and we'll see the kitchen. So out here, this is obviously the staff path that goes up there. But we zoom, zoom through the people. Um, we can come around here and see the ostriches. Hi, ostrich. Oh, this glass needs repairing. I better call the mechanic, but there we go. Anyway, these are the ostriches. They look like they are. Sorry about that. Uh, they look like they're semi happy, so that's good. And then we're gonna head around here, and uh, you can see there's this uh, big, big door. Um, here, big, big animal door. Um, I wonder where that leads. Let's let's go in through the, the human sized door into the kitchen. So here we are. Oh yes. Oh, here's the kitchen. So this part of the door is here. Um, and then, yeah, let's, let's have a look at the kitchen first. We've got, obviously got some fruits and vegetables around. We've got a nice big fridge. We've got a cooker and some bins and things and some clipboards so you know what you're supposed to be making. And obviously doors into all of the vendor stations so that we can take our produce and everything we need and put it into our shops. And then what's through here, I wonder? Oh, it's, it's a giant freezer. Hmm, interesting. With wheelbarrows and a big animal door. Hmm, hmm, <laughs> suspicious. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I mean, obviously you guys know exactly what the point is, that, yeah, that, that the animals are going in there. So let's just quickly head upstairs and see the staff area. Whoop, it's not very exciting to be honest. Uh, and then we'll get a big look. I think this is quite pretty here. You know, they've got a nice, um little flower area uh, and that I think is the vet surgery yeah um, you know got to keep the animals healthy if we're gonna eat them so uh, yeah staff room keeper heart uh, animal trading center I think is that uh, and then yeah obviously like power station or whatever so all right let's um, just take a look at the outside this is Edgar's Eats then guys if you've enjoyed this video please subscribe please like this video please comment down below if you have any ideas of things you want me to do in the future it has been so cool being here with you and I hope that you have a fantastic day and we'll see you next time bye